Students at Northwest Career and Technical Academy are working on some pretty cool things. They are getting their own kind of science fair. Scott Smith with the Nevada State Contractors Board is here to explain it. Sounds like it's going to be a pretty big, interesting event. It is. It's March 24th at Northwest Career and Technical Academy. Um, it's a fair for the students to showcase some of the projects that they built throughout their careers and then also uh, to present some buddy benches that they've built. These benches are uh, for elementary schools. Kids uh, who are feeling left out that day or having a bad day can go and sit on this bench and then other kids can see that they're having some problems, go over, talk to them, invite them to play basketball, go for a walk those kinds of things. So it's a great anti-bullying type effort. That's an interesting idea. Has that been done before? I've never heard of a, a, a buddy bench. I don't believe it's been done in Nevada. It's a national program that's going national. I believe it started in Arizona, but uh, there'll be 10 of these benches that the students are building uh, thanks to uh, a donation from Western Governors University of Nevada. They provided the funding for it. The kids, of course, provide the labor and then DC Building Group is going to install them at the campuses. Now at this fair we were talking about these students are probably pretty talented. What kind of things are they working on that people can see? Well, they're great. In addition to the benches, which they're routered, they're uh, labeled, they've mm -hmm. put signs on them, that's great. Uh, I think they start out building smaller projects, toolboxes out of wood. There's also some some kits that they've built uh, with solar panel panels installed, little model houses. Uh, when we visited a few days ago, they had just put together and were working on a 3D printer. So, wow, it's it's pretty High sophisticated. working on a 3D printer. That's right. It's pretty sophisticated stuff. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see that kind of stuff until mm. I was in college. That's mm -hmm. really cool. I mean, what's your favorite part? What are you most looking forward to when it comes to this? Uh, I like to see kind of the interaction. Part of the Part of the program is to see the students interact with uh, industry professionals. They'll be some of the more um, forward-thinking uh, construction companies out there. They're going to ha have some mock interviews. Uh, they'll work with the students to show them the kind of skills and kind of mindset that they're looking for in new employees. So a great way to kind of jumpstart that career and show off what they've been doing and what they're capable of. I mean, this will be a big deal for them if they want to keep going on this path. Absolutely. We've seen students that are interested in going on to college, maybe for engineering, construction management, architecture. Uh, others who are looking to go maybe into unions or even non-union, but uh, electricians, plumbers, and those types of professionals, and then even some that are just looking to get out of school and get a job to help support their families. I mean, these are kids, these are students right now, but they're going to have a huge, I would think, positive influence, right, on the state. Certainly. Uh, part of our outreach at the Contractors Board is to show uh, what construction does for the community here. Um, obviously, we're trying to diversify the economy mm -hmm. away kind of from uh, gaming. Uh, the industry has aged quite significantly, so we're looking to infuse it with some younger talent. Uh, people have left the industry during the Great Recession and uh, haven't come back, and so there is a, a work shortage. When you look at the you said younger talent, these students, are they excited for this? Is it really invigorating to see how, uh, how they're looking forward to it? They are. They've been practicing their, like I said, their interview skills. Um, they're going to have other uh, industry professionals there with some kind of booth set up so they can see th kind of the how their education translates into the real world yeah. uh, how the things that they've learned are actually being applied to building projects throughout the valley awesome and so did you say it's happening march 24th march 24th and all Friday. that information is on their website i know uh, we're working to get that on our website as well but everything people need to know is there anything they should bring with them or they should need to know about the event no, just come and uh, bring your curiosity and see some of the projects that these kids have built. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back.